this time on Broken Signal. We'll install and configure WX to IMG to decode NOAA weather satellite images using SDR Sharp. Let's get started. Open up a web browser and search for WX to IMG. The first link should be WX to IMG restored.xyz. Then click Downloads. Under Latest Beta Version, version 2.11.2, .2, click that link. We're going to scroll down and click on the Windows link. It's going to ask you to save file, and you can tell it where to save the file. Once it's saved, I just click it here to open the file. Click Yes. Now we'll start the installation process. Click Next. Agree to the terms and conditions and click Next. It'll ask you where you want to save it. Programs files is fine and click Next. Once it's done, click Finish. And then on the desktops, the icon will double click it to start. If this is a fresh install, it will pop up and ask you for geographical location. We'll cover that shortly under Options. So we'll go to Options, Active APT Satellites, and we'll verify that NOAA 15, 18, and 19 is checked. Then we'll go to Internet Options, and we want to verify Get Keplers from Celestark is checked. Now under Ground Station Locations, you can enter your city and your country. Then click look up latitude and longitude and it will fill the latitude and longitude for you. When you're done, click OK. And then go to recording options. Under recording options, we want to verify record only when active APT satellites or overhead is checked. Under common recording options for sound card, you want to check Cable Output VB Audio Virtual. Now if you don't have Cable Output VB Audio installed, you could go to my YouTube page, Broken Signal, and I have a video there installing VB Cable and using it with SDR Sharp, which will guide you through that process. Once you verify that that is correct, click OK. Now under File, we want to update the Keplers. Then if you look, take a look at the satellite pass list, it'll list the satellites that are going to pass overhead for the next week. We can see that NOAA 19 is going to be the next satellite on a northbound direction with a maximum elevation of 65 and it's going to pass at 1823 local time or 2223 UTC time with a duration of 1145 on a frequency of 137-100. We'll click close on that. Now if we go to file record, we want to verify that record and auto process is checked and we'll check create images. Now under image settings, you can select which processing options you want it to automatically do. I have a few of them selected. There will be quite a few selected by default. Click set when you're done and then we'll hit auto record. Now you can see down here on the bottom the status is that it's waiting for NOAA 19 to pass and it's going to be on frequency 137-100 and the UTC time of which it's going to pass. Now go ahead and open up SDR Sharp and we'll set our frequency to 137-100. We want to set the mode to wide FM. I like to use a bandwidth of about 45 kilohertz. Under audio output let's change it to cable input VB audio so that will pipe the audio to WX to IMG. Once you're done hit play and then we wait for the uh, satellite to pass overhead. Once the satellite is within range WX to IMG will start recording. Northbound passes will populate from bottom to top while southbound passes will populate from top to bottom. The pass could take from 10 to 15 minutes. 
The image isn't much to look at here, but once it's done recording, it will automatically start processing the image. Now we can see the images as they are being processed. When it's done, the status will go back to waiting on the next satellite. We can now look at the images. You may need to scroll to see them. If you click on saved images, we can see the different images it processed. There are more options for processing under image settings when you select record to look at, but this gets you going. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I will respond. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss future videos, and as always, thanks for watching.